You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drake Wing Gaming. A sudden email on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Angels with Scaly Wings, Anna's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back, right back in, Alarm Chan, you were up, and let's go. There we go. Okay. It's also possible that, we, that you've been, what you've been led to believe about humans doesn't actually refer to us at all. Are you implying that you aren't human? No, I'm just saying that if you really had been in contact with humans before, as your myths imply, they would need they would need to belong to the same species as me, and thus be very similar to myself. If they aren't, then either they weren't humans at all, or, or have very different origins. So you say there's a possibility... So you say there's a possibility that our humans and your humans may be something different altogether? I suppose you're right in the way that our images of humans are very inconsistent. They certainly can't all be humans in the way that we, that we would refer to a single species. The name should probably be reserved for yours. And we haven't even touched on the other two categories of humans. What did you call them again? A non-physical human entities and spiritual humans. What's the difference? Honestly, the definitions get a bit muddled here. Going by conventional belief, a, a ghost could be a human who has died and thus changed into a different form. We could call this a spiritual human. An angel, on the other hand, would be classified as a non-physical entity. What do you know about angels? Angels basically look like humans with wings. Their existence in ancient scripts was used to lend some credence to the theories about, uh, about humans having become dragons. Be because of the wings? Exactly! But some of your dragon species don't have wings either. Yes, as I said, once you start delving into that kind of stuff, it all becomes very convoluted. When we met, you also told me something about a four-headed human. Right. With that, with that, we go into the realm of creatures that just don't make much sense at all. Having four heads just seems unlikely from an evolutionary perspective. That might not really matter if we were talking about a non-physical entity or a spiritual being, though. So, in the end, you have a lot of different ideas whose only connection to each other is that you use the word human to describe them in some way. And they share at least some basic characteristics. You fit those as well, by the way. What are they? You certainly are not a reptile like us, but you don't look like a conventional mammal either. We are mammals, though. Yes, but you are so different from other mammals we know that ultimately you are quite unique. We don't know any other sentient mammals. You've got a point there, I'll give you that. Strangely enough, we have plenty of human-like creatures in our mythologies as well. Oh, do tell! You already mentioned ghosts, but some other ones include dwarves, giants, fairies, and blemmies. I think I've heard of most of these before, but what is a blemmies? Blemmies. Essentially, a blemmies is a human without a head. A human without a head? How does that work? How do they eat? Instead of a head, they just have all their facial features on their chest. That's a rather weird mental image. There are also a lot of half-creatures that share some characteristics with humans and other animals. Like, merhumans? Sure. Lastly, there are creatures that are said to be able to shapeshift into human form. Strangely enough, some of our dragon myths said they could shapeshift into humans or that certain, hu certain countries' royalty are descended from dragons. That would imply that they are genetically compatible with humans. Sounds rather outlandish if you ask me. We certainly can't shapeshift like that. <laughs> to be fair, I never tried. Hang on. Did it work? Nope. Still a dragon. Aww. Anyway, how come you know so much about myths? All part of being an ambassador. Not only did I learn about dragon myths in order to com compare them to what you're like, but I also studied myths about creatures that are similar to humans so I could find out how similar they were to yours. Well, you're, going to, you're doing an excellent job so far, and it's bound to help me a lot with my game as well. You're going to put all that into the, into the game? Let's just say it gives me some excellent material to work with. I thought you wanted to give, me, to give an accurate portrayal of humans, not just collect myths. One species will certainly be modeled after you, but that doesn't mean we can't introduce some variety with the others. People will love it if we also bring some of the more unusual myths to life. I see. But since we also want each of the normal human characters to be unique, I'd like to know much. I'd like to know how much variety there really is within your species. Like you know, it is water time. One second, let me check this real quick. I'm gonna have to do that. All right, one second, y'all. Be right back. Nope. Oh, one. Let me uh. That. Okay. All right. All right.
right, y'all, and we are back. All right. I've seen Reza before, so comparing him to you already gives me a bit of an idea. But how far do these differences go exactly? When we arrived here, you asked me if I was old enough to drink. That leads me to believe that your average human must be a lot taller. That's true. You could say Reza would be about average for an adult. Not that it would be impossible to get a good deal bigger than him or even smaller than you, but those cases are rather rare and usually the result of medical conditions. I see, I see. What about colors? Are there any humans who are like who are blue like me? Not really. There, uh, There is a certain spectrum of skin colors that can be lighter or darker, but so far I've seen a lot more variety in the dragons here. We do have quite a number of different eye colors, though. Interesting. As for things that aren't immediately visible, we also have different blood types, but I assume you know about that. We certainly have those as well. Some people even believe your blood type influences your personality. That, on the other hand, is news to me. Anything else you want to know? Phew! We already got so much. I'll have to think about it if, if we uh, about it and how we can work all this into the game. Have you worked on any other games before? I worked on a few small projects during the course of my studies and also interned as a studio before. Interned at a studio before. This is on a completely different level, though. How so? It's my game, so I'm the one calling the shots here. It's a very different thing than just making a few graphics when you're part of a bigger team, for sure. I see. How long exactly have you been working on this? Phew! Must be several months now. I've got everything planned out and a lot of the groundwork has already been done. The most difficult things are the characters themselves and to make sure all the details are accurate. Of course. Have you shown the game to any other people yet? Sure. Feedback is a very important part, is a very important part of, the develop, of the development process. So I rarely gather ideas and opinions from others. I even made a website to do this. And what do they say? All kinds of things, really. Sometimes it's hard to decide which ones have a good point and which can be disregarded. Overall, it seems there are many people who are looking forward to play my game, though. How many are we talking about? I don't know exactly. The counter on my website only tracks the number of visits, so I don't actually know how many different people there are. What if it doesn't work out? What do you mean? Well, you're investing a certain amount of time and money into making this game. Ideally, you would make, want to make back your investment and hopefully get some profit on top of that. If the goal is to make money, sure. However, I just wanted to try my hand at doing something like this. If some people are going to enjoy the end result, that's great. Don't forget that I'll have to. Don't forget that I also have made something that I can put on my resume. At the very least, it'll have a good. It'll be a good learning experience. Sorry if I'm flubbing my words, y'all. I have been running around since I got up this morning doing like proof of renter's insurance, proof of income, calling the uh, utility company to get our account set up, providing IDs and socials for them over email. It's just been a lot. With that attitude, I suppose you really don't have anything to lose. I can always look for another job, and maybe I'll end up working at a game studio, but I think once I've started doing something like that, I might not get this opportunity again. So it's now or never, huh? In a nutshell, yes. And that all works out with your com with your current job? Your career job? Sure, I can support myself this way, and I'm not really under any pressure, since I don't have any deadlines to keep. You're looking at what you're doing. I'd like to think so. What kind of tools are you using to make it? If I consider what some of your species look like, I'm having a hard time imagining how the bigger ones could program a game. And we're back, y'all. Let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alright. While we do have devices tailored to each individual species, I can't deny that my dexterous hands make it a lot easier compared to some of the others. One downside is I have to keep my nails short, or else using the keyboard gets a bit cumbersome. I imagine you have to be careful with those while working on a courier anyway. You're right about that. One wrong move and you've suddenly shredded the letter you were just going to hand to someone. Sounds unpleasant. Luckily, that kind of thing doesn't really happen to me anymore. Not only because of the shorter nails, but once you've worked there for a bit, you just learn to be more careful. It's a bit sad not to have them as a natural letter opener anymore, though. And it's not just for me. Some people ask me to open their letters for them, since doing that on their own can be difficult for some of the less dexterous and older ones. Have you been working as a courier for long? I just got this job a few months ago, but I had a part-time part -time summer job at the post office when I was growing up. My species is perfectly suited for the job, so they were glad to have me on board. I can see that. Of course, being able to fly is a big plus. My size means I can't deliver any big packages, but I often get assigned to urgent letters that have to be delivered as soon as possible. Huh, it's getting late. Maybe we should leave it at that for today. Yeah, I should probably head back to my apartment before it gets too dark. I got more than enough material to work with, thanks a lot! Don't worry about it, I'll just consider it a public service. 
Honestly, I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity, especially after nearly getting denied by Sebastian when I met you. Just make the best of it. I certainly will! I really have to get going now, so maybe you'll... maybe I'll see you some other time. Sure, have a good night! Take care! Uh-oh. Oh boy. Passion. Oh! Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh no no no. Oh god, are we gonna get to f we're gonna get to fuck Anna in this episode? I mean, it literally says passion. We know what that means. Tonight is the night for love. Okay. The morning sun declared the arrival of a new day and woke me from my vivid dreams. Memories of my home and clothes within a towering perimeter wall raced through my head. The perfect, the peaceful landscape outside the apartment window stood in defiance of these old thoughts. Rolling hills and blue sky were familiar to me now, and the purity of the sight gave me hope. Nope. Oh. Keegan, please come with me. What's going on? You sound serious. The chief will explain everything once we arrive. Uh, okay. Hey, chief. Keegan is here. Thanks, Sebastian. You can deal with the situation here while we till I talk to Keegan, all right? Well, of course. Keegan, I've got some really bad news. Well, what is it? You know Anna. You know Anna, right? I've met her, yes. How about her assistant? I met him once or twice. Well, that's him. Oh, shit. So this time, the assistant dies instead of Anna. Well, damn. Are you okay? I don't know. Is there anything that I can do? Let's just get this over with. Bryce gave me a concerned look, but then nodded. And here's some more bad news. The blood we found on the first victim in town matches the DNA evidence we found on the second victim at the power facility. Furthermore, the murder weapon and method appear to be the same across all three victims. And that's going to be a big problem for you. Why is that? Because with these three murders, Resonac qualifies as a serial killer. We won't be able to keep this whole thing quiet for much longer. One second, y'all. It is water time. Alright. Higher authorities, including the ministry in charge of your whole visit, will know about this soon. I have no idea what will happen once they do. I'm not sure what to say to that. I don't want you to worry. I don't want to worry you, but we can be sure that action will be taken soon. I've been considering this possibility for a while, and I think it might be best if you went back to your own world for now. This way we can take action before the Ministry does, and before this all becomes public. If we wait, we don't know what they'll do or how the public will react. With everything going on, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. No. No? This would be the worst possible time for me to leave. We've given up our PDAs and hardly have anything to show for it. We are owed several more generators, and let's not forget that Reza is still missing. If I leave now, the only thing I return home with is my life. I'll have lost everything else. We need those generators, Bryce. I have no idea if your authorities will continue to uphold our deal, or what they do to Reza, but I'm not leaving until this is over. If that's your decision, then so be it. It looks like you've seen this before. Skip to the scene selection. No. As you wish. Anyway, let's get back on track. I called you here for a reason, Keegan. In addition to the murder, several things were stolen, among them, among them your PDAs, batteries, and some components used to build generators. Does that ring any bells? Not really. Reza might have, might have some knowledge of electronics, but I doubt he has enough to assemble one of your generators, even if he had the parts. Strange. Even so, it's fair to assume Reza's involvement at this point. No one else has a greater motive to steal the PDAs, especially after what happened between him and Maverick. Unless someone wanted to frame Reza in order to sabotage this whole operation... Do you really believe that? Hey, I'm just saying it's possible. I'll shove that idea under possible but unlikely. Hey, Chief, are we done here? Pretty much. Why do you ask? We just got a message from the higher-ups. You and Keegan are to report to the Ministry of Culture and Arts immediately. Immediately? As of right now? Yeah, apparently. What's going on? To be frank, I don't know. This is an extraordinary situation, and now that it's getting out of hand, they must want to address it. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Sebastian, you can finish up here and go to the Ministry when you're done. We'll probably have to make some arrangements after this meeting. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you, always, if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.